Oh, Jesus, Lord, we want to come to you, Jesus, tonight. Thanking you, Lord, for the things that you helped us with today, Jesus. The sermon that we heard this morning, Lord, and how it need to be instant, Jesus, in season and out of season, Lord, and how that you helped pastor and our three pastors, Lord, in New York, Jesus, as they were sitting there, and, and you had your servant to lead in song, Jesus, and, and they knew, Lord, they could feel that something was going on, and I was thankful that, Lord, that they could be in tune with you, Jesus, that they could be able to know, Jesus, that you were trying to work. And Lord, because that helps me know that, Lord, that we've got men of God that are trying to get us to a point, Jesus, that we can die out to ourselves, Lord, and that we can come into oneness, Jesus, because this oneness, Lord, that you want to get us to, Jesus, will reach everything. Lord, it'll go past all barriers. It'll reach the politicians, Lord. It'll reach the doctors. Lord, it'll reach the low class. It'll reach the high class, Lord. And it's not going to come through bus ministries, as Pastor Rod has said to India, it's not going to come through this or that, Lord, but it's going to come, Lord Jesus, through our coming into oneness, Jesus. And Lord, I pray that you just help us to, to grab hold of this, Lord, through the week, Lord. We hear it here at Sunday and Wednesday night, Jesus, and we seem to forget it as we go out the doors, Jesus. So pray that you just help us, Lord, and I'm, but I'm thankful, Jesus, for your help. I'm thankful for the help that you give us and the encouragement, Lord, and for your blood that covers, Jesus, that covers a multitude of sins, and it, it just loves us. I mean, you just love us through it, Jesus, and that that, that it just helps us so much, Jesus, and I just thank you for that, Lord. We praise your name, Jesus, for your, for your honor, for your glory, Jesus, just for being yourself, Lord, for your purity, Lord, for your holiness, Jesus, for your love, Jesus, and for your grace, Lord, for your mercy, Jesus, that's going on and endureth forever, Lord. We give your name, all the glory, Jesus, for all the praise, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Dear Lord, we are certainly thankful for this unusual service thus far, the freedom and the joy of the Lord that is in our midst, and we can't help but review the service this morning, how that you blessed so wonderfully, and uh, Lord, our hearts rejoiced, and they shook hands with people going out the door, they were rejoicing, and uh, well, some have expressed themselves, could hardly wait for the service tonight. We believe that we need this enthusiasm. We need this anticipation for from service to service because, after all, this is our main business is serving God. So we pray to help every one of us tonight, Lord, as we uh, come to Thee because we know that we need help tonight as well as we need it this morning and in the past services, how that You blessed and helped and we were deeply grateful and thankful the way the Spirit operated and way the people attended church while three of our ministers and other members of a congregation was abroad and you blessed and we're thankful and you blessed today. Oh Lord, we're just so happy to be back together, all of us, and praising the Lord and how you blessed the choir this morning and it's such a beautiful singing and how you blessed Dick and Mike and, and Lord and it just thrilled our hearts. So, oh, help us to do as Ronald admonished us to do in the revival at Maranatha Fellowship, that when God blesses others, we all ought to be thankful and rejoice about it. We're not careful. A devil will say, well, they, they rejoice more over your praying and do uh, uh, someone else praying more than yours, and he'll buffet people. But, Lord, when God blesses in the preaching, we ought to say, thank God. Amen no matter who's behind the pulpit and proclaiming the wonderful, marvelous riches of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we're thankful that Oliver's back and Steve and Rodney. I know that we three ministers that were in charge here, how thankful we are and how glad we are. We rejoice because they're back and the parishioners are back. We rejoice because we're together in this service tonight. We rejoice because of the operation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We rejoice because people are rejoicing. Amen. Oh God, tonight we pray that Thou will help us in the area of healing. Jesus. Lord, surely You've said these signs shall follow them that believe. Oh God, help us to have faith in our believing that yes. God is able and that He'll heal those that come to Him in faith, believing, not doubting, and not being driven by every wind of doctrine, but believe that God is able. Yeah. So, Lord, give us that faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Oh, God, help us to earnestly contend for it that we might look to Thee, the author and the finisher of our faith, and rejoice and be exceedingly glad because of our name written in heaven. Oh, Father, tonight make this another unusual service. 
We're thankful, Lord, for your help, and we dare not be thankful for it. Help us to rejoice. Help us do all that we can. Help us to do our homework. Help us to pray. Help us to study, Lord, and help us to be kind to each other. Help us to not to criticize each other, but, Lord, to speak kindly of each other. Love everybody. Lord, we believe this is the way this church will grow if we'll not criticize each other and uh, repeat stories, but we'll keep uh, Jesus in our hearts and look to God and, and rebuke the enemy. Oh God, we pray to deliver us from self, sin, and Satan. Grant, Lord, that our hearts will be pure in the sight of God, that we might look to Thee and rejoice in Thee and proclaim the marvelous things of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, thank you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you that we're not already in hell tonight. Oh, God, it's through thy mercy that we're here tonight. We know when we as a young man of 18, we were dying without God. And a one-legged preacher went out in the woods and prayed for us. And God healed me, brought me through it. My folk came to the door and looked at me and went away crying. Said, Everett's going to die. But I'm not dead. Thank the Lord. I'm here tonight because of somebody's prayer. Because of this preacher praying all day from sunup till sundown and praying for my healing. I want to thank you, Lord, for it because I could have been in eternity lost without God tonight. And we're thankful to be here. Oh, praise God for this congregation. Praise God for every family. Praise God for every individual. Praise God for all that's been done, been accomplished. We want to give the honor and glory and praise for all of it because you do all the honor and all the praise. Lord, we just do our best to look to thee tonight. We know we're feeble. Oh, God, we need prayer more than anybody. Tonight, we just uh, covet the prayers of every person that we might be what God would have us to be, that we would not fail God. Lord, I don't want to fail our pastor. Oh, Jesus, I want to be at my post of duty. He mentioned about that this morning. And if I fail in one thing, I know it'll shake him, Lord. And I trust God that you'll help me not to fail him, not to fail my wife, not to fail any of the ministers on the staff. Lord, I'll not fail the congregation, and I'll not fail thee. Oh, how mercy upon us tonight, Lord, and grant that this will be an outstanding service because of your presence, we ask in thy name. Amen. My
That's in my heart. Something of reality.